Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we've got the most influential vehicle I own on the table. So this is my WPLC24. This is to blame for all of this. So you may be wondering, how is this to blame for my entire RC collection? Well, in my previous video, I talked about my first hobby grade RC car. Link to that video will be at the end. So when I moved out into the middle of nowhere, I, there was really no place for me to run any on-road stuff until I came across this on eBay. This was back, ooh, five, six years ago. This was back before the official store. This was back before, well, really before WPL was really known for, for RCs. Everyone just thought these were cheap toys. Again, some people still do, but they have, the quality has definitely improved. So I came across it on eBay as a kit for, I want to, I think it was £25. It was, it was that long ago you could pick these up cheap. When I say it was a long time ago about it, it was long enough the RTRs and the ready to, or the RTRs were the old shitty non proportional and both the ready to run and the RTRs came with plastic diffs which you would strip out within a couple of minutes but this is kind of a treasure trove because it's during that period or it's built during that period where it is a bit modern, a bit old and a bit classic so what do I mean by that? If you have a little look underneath, so you can see I've got a skid plate on it to hide a two speed transmission. You can see there is metal drive shafts, but plastic housings. So this has actually got the first generation of the metal axles. Back before you actually got metal axle housing, you would use the plastic axle and it's got metal hubs and a cup and ball style drive steering for it. So you wouldn't get much steering angle out of it. So if you compare that to one of the newer KM axles where you can get so much more lock out of it, that's why when these came out, it was kind of popular for a twin steer setup because you couldn't get it round sharp bends. And another thing to really show its age is the custom links. This, again, like I said, this was back before there was any, any part support really for them. So I had to custom make metal links because like the like the plastic diffs in it it kept snapping them and, an, and another little odd oddity about it again like i said before part support and everything is the shocks on these so because like i said lack of part support and upgrades we had to actually go out i had to go to the model shop to go find something small enough to fit. 
I believe these came off like a... I want to say... Maybe 1 16th scale buddy, buggy or something a lot smaller than 1 16th scale. And the, to be honest, these have probably been the best shocks I've ever used on a WPL. They beat the friction shocks, which these originally came with. And it's almost... And it's almost on par with the new Land Cruiser shocks, except from these aren't oil filled. They've got about the same spring rate and they're quite soft. And they're quite soft and bouncy. Mainly on the other rigs I've got which run them. This is really way too light. That's hence adding a metal chassis. So Another little, another little thing about it is issue you used to have is finding ESCs which would fit in these. Nowadays, a lot of people just cut them up and put Hobby Wing 1060s, 1080s, and then, or my personal favourite, the Hobby Wing 1625. I want to say that's a nice small ESC which gives it a lot of punch. Oh, back when I started, it was kind of more of a budget build. So we, oh, so I started off with the little 10 amp ESCs you could have three, for three or four quid. And you'd always find, you'd have to order maybe four or five of them. You'd burn out three of them and you'd find you'll have one perfect one which would last months on end before burning out. Which, to be honest, the ESC which is in this has been in it for maybe two, three years. And I have run this recently, so it's not like it doesn't, it's been relegated to the shelf. It's just not actually appeared on camera recently. But, I say enough talking, and I shall throw up some uh, original running footage. Because I know I should still have it lying around on my computer. So, let's go. So, welcome back. I want to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you are into WPL related content. I really recommend sticking around on the channel because I've got a new release on the way and hopefully at the time of filming it will be the next video after this. 
and I can kind of slowly tease it. Maybe, maybe, 